Ladies and gentlemen, Lamar Woodley, escorted by Ron Stanley. Could have kept that song playing. <laughs> See, I'm representing. This is how we used to dress going to the game on game days at Michigan. Coach Carr used to make us wear like a coat and tie. So I figured I'd represent the maize and blue. <laughs> I understand why a lot of y'all are not clapping. <laughs> y'all tried to take care of us in the tunnel, but on the field, we got after y'all. <laughs> And uh, Cliff Ryan and uh, Ryan Stanley used to hearing that song after every game, actually. I think like, Ryan Stanley made me this one time. But anyways, I know I got five minutes, and I might go over. So that DJ, if you play that music in that stand up there, I already figured out how to get up there. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, oh man, the, the Lamar Woodley journey, I appreciate this opportunity, all the other inductees. This is a wonderful opportunity, and definitely going in with Charles Rogers, uh, unbelievable. When I heard I was going in with Charles Rogers, y'all don't understand. Oh uh, man, my, my journey started with being at Saginaw High with Coach Don Durrett, and I remember the first question either him or Coach Sanders asked me, and they said, Woodley, what position you wanna play? I'm like, I wanna tackle and block somebody, cause I'm not trying to get tackled by anybody out here. And Coach D always had this thing about, as a freshman, you know, like he said, I was on JV, then I went on varsity. It was something about paying your dues. I didn't know what paying your dues was. Like, what do you mean, pay your dues? You, know, you got to pay your dues, freshman. And other freshmen have to go get all the bags. Freshmen do this, freshmen do that, freshmen do this. I say, you know what? When we get these drills going, I'm going to take it out on these upperclassmen, <laughs> making me go get those bags. And they beat me down every day. But every day I come back for more and more and more. And I finally, we was in the semifinal game because that freshman year I didn't play much. Played special teams, kickoff. Um, and it, my, my, some of my stories are like a movie. Uh, we came in at halftime and I heard one of the coaches say, Woodley, you up? Woodley up? Did he say Woodley? <laughs> yeah, I ain't been paying attention all year. I don't know no plays. I don't know what's going on. I tried to hide in the back and coach Sanders. What, are you up? I didn't want to tell him I didn't know what I was doing. Was, this is my opportunity. I've been praying for this opportunity, but I didn't think it was going to come today. And uh, I remember talking to our, I was playing left tackle. And our right guard, the Montreal Williams, I pulled him to the side and said, hey, man, I need to know what to do every play. I don't know who I'm blocking. I don't know nothing. But this is the semifinal, so make me look good in every play. I mean, I, Brandon Cork was talking to whoever was quarterback, and I was just looking at him like, what I need to do? And I eventually went on and had an opportunity to start in the uh, state championship game. And I couldn't believe that I was going to be there. And uh, I ended up making the key block in the game. They, Coach D trusted me and called the sweep to the left. Hell, I couldn't believe he said to the left. Did he know he called that to my side? <laughs> and I made my blocks, and uh, Terry Jackson got in, and we won. Um, so that was the journey of uh, the beginning of Lamar Woodley. And throughout that journey, I had a chance to watch Charles Rogers. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, I remember being in a library, and I Googled Charles Rogers. You, I mean, Yahoo. And he was the number one player in the country. I said, man, I want to be like that dude. He laid out a blueprint so smooth for me. Thank you, Charles Rogers. Because that blueprint he showed me to become the person I am today is unbelievable. From high school to college to professional, I watched Charles Rogers. He motivated you. Every time he see you, he's trying to motivate you to get to where he was at. Get on this level I'm on. He'd bring you over to the house, walk you around. And man, Charles Rogers, man, I appreciate everything that he did for me. Hard working guy, unbelievable, best athlete I've ever seen. And he motivated me. That's why I'm here. 
So thank you, Charles Rogers and Coach T and Coach Durrett and Miss Shaw, Epa Shaw. Miss Shaw, every time that I, from the moment I got to Saginaw High, she was always praying for me. Damn, here she come again, praying for me. I try to go the other way. Here she go. Hey, Lamar, I'm praying for you. And to this day, she's still praying for me. So I appreciate those prayers. I really do. Coach D, the coaching staff, I appreciate everything that y'all have done for me. I've learned so much from y'all over the years and the friendship that we actually have created and the stories y'all tell me. I, I really take those to the heart. Thank you very much. And uh, my parents, man, I got the dopest parents in the world. My parents been trusting me since I was about eight years old to make my own decisions, picking what school I went to, trusting me when I'm out here in the streets. My parents raised me great. Uh, I don't give enough credit to my dad who was in the Marines for eight years. There he is, 25 years a police officer in Buena Vista and at Northwood University in a thousand point club in basketball for scoring a thousand point in three years. Man, I got some dope parents. Man, everything my dad taught me, he built me tough. You know, because sometimes you need that father in your life because mom only can, you know, push you so far. And Man, we know we need dad a little bit. And oh, my dad, thank you for the beatings, the whipping with the belt, the slaps in the head, the cussing outs. Thank you very much because you molded me into a great, strong, young man. I am today. The stories that you taught me, I appreciate everything. Some of the stories my dad tell me when you're a police officer, you gotta understand, it's crazy stories, but they're life stories and it helped me become the person I am today with my Saginaw community. Thank y'all so much, I love this. Thank y'all for everybody and I think my time is up. Thank you for not playing that music. Thank you.